Hi everyone, as you can see today, I'm not in my kitchen as usual, but I'm in another room. This is the room that I normally use to make cake toppers. But it is really messy, so I normally don't want to show you. But because my son and my husband are home at the moment, I didn't want to uh, make videos in front of them. And I really wanted to have some peace for myself, so it could be easier to talk to you. So the cake toppers that I'm going to show you how to make today is about these two dogs and uh, this one it's really easy to make and everyone can make, even kids, especially uh, during these days that are home, uh, like everyone really, uh, it is their perfect. And this one is uh, easy but just a little bit more difficult but still really easy and everyone can make it. Um, the reason why I'm showing you how to make this too uh, is because when my son was really really young, probably two or three, we used to make lots of uh, figures together. We really loved to have some uh, quality time together and we really had so much fun. And I really hope uh, to give you an idea of what to do together with your kids during this day. So let's have a look of how to make them and uh, I hope you really enjoy this video and if you want me to make other things for you so you can spend more quality time with your kids just let me know in the comments. Make sure to be safe at home but for now let's have a look at how to make these two cute dogs. To make the dog, first of all we're going to start making the body and we're going to need two balls of white and black modeling paste. And what we need to do first of all is to make two drops and you want to roll them with the palm of your hand until they are almost the same size. Then you're going to put them one on top of each other and roll them together. So they're kind of blending together really. Because it is too long, I'll try to squish it together. And then on the right, we're going to roll it with our pinky to make the bum of the dog. Curve a little bit. And now you start to understand, I hope, that this is the actual body. Make a little bit thinner at the top where the head is going to be and now we're going to make the back legs with a ball and that we're going to squash it and we're going to put one of each side of the dog body. Now we're going to make the dog's tail and we're going to roll it to one side to make it thinner and then to the other side as well and then we're going to put it at the back. these two small balls of white modeling paste so this time we're going to make the front legs and we're going to roll it and we're going to roll the first bit and what we need to do is to roll them to make it like a cylinder but we're going to leave one bit that is going to be a little bit bigger as this is where the main foot is so bend a little bit and then we want to make a cut at the front of it and then again one on the right and one on the left and then we can put it onto the body this time instead we're going to make the back feet we just need two small ovals, we're going to press them and then we're going to make three cuts, one in the middle and then two on each side. And then we're going to put it underneath each back leg. Now we're going to transfer the dog onto a dummy and, um, and we need to insert inside of it a cocktail stick as you can see this is the way we sh should get inside so let's do it very very carefully and try to feel it with your fingers if it's going in the right direction otherwise take it out and uh, try to insert it again but in a different direction
From this bowl of white modeling paste, we're going to make the dog's head. And we're going to roll it first to make the neck. Then we want to push the fondant out to make the dog's mouth. And I'm going to leave it on my table because it's going to be much easier to work on it and then you can see even better. Now we want to make the black dog's patches, leaving some white in the middle. Let's put two flat pieces of black fondant onto the head like this and as I said just leave a little bit of white in the middle. Now we need to stretch these two black patches and cover the rest of the head. Now we're going to open the mouth, so let's make a cut and then we're going to add some more details. So let's open the mouth and then we're going to add some black fondant. To make the teeth instead we're going to add some really small pieces of uh, sausages and put them on each side of the mouth. And to show the uh, teeth effect a little bit more, let's add some cut. Once we've done that, we're going to add the tongue, which is uh, um, an oval. And I'm going to press a little bit. And if it's too long, just cut it as well, like I've done. And then let's put it inside the mouth. Make a line in the middle of the tongue, then add a hole at the top of the mouth so that we can add a small triangle of black fondant. Make a cut and then make two holes for the nose. And then I thought to add as well some smaller holes uh, the top of the mouth near the nose um, to make it look like he has some hair as well. Now at this point let's draw the eyes which have a kind of uh, oval shape and because we're going to fill afterwards with some fondant we need some room for that and that's why I'm using this small ball tool so that we can push the fondant inside of it and now we can add some white fondant make sure you fill the eye with the whole of the white fondant and then you can decide how you're gonna do the eyes you can either paint them like I'm doing or otherwise you can add some fondant on top of it and then all around it I've painted it with some black gel paste instead but at this point I thought that I added too much painting and that it is too dark so I've removed it with a damp brush then to make the pupils I've added two black balls which I pressed and then I've added two micro balls of white fondant to make some lights on the eyes Above the eyes I've added two strips of fondant which are black. I'm not sure if you can actually see because it's very hard for me to show cake toppers with the black fondant. I can see that you cannot actually see them very well but I hope you can 
get the gist as well and I've added them so that the eyes could look a little bit more nicer then I've added two strips of brown fondant above the eyes and then I've uh, pressed them so they looked like more patches as well the different hair color of the dog and then I've added some more brown modeling paste between the white and the black fondant and again I've flattened as much as possible and if it's not perfect that's fine because this is how dog's hair are really now let's make the dog ears with a bowl of uh, black fondant I've uh, flattened and it is kind of triangle shape and then I put it onto the dog's head so once the head has been done we can put it onto the rest of the body as long as it is a bit hard as well and as you can see at the moment there is a little bit of gap between the head and the rest of the body so I've decided to add some white fondant at the front and this is a different technique that we normally use because normally we just have all the pieces ready for each um, cake topper but this time because the dog has hair you actually want to add some pieces of modeling paste to it and then you can work on it and again I've noticed that the back it is a little bit more small so I've added more black modeling paste I like this kind of technique because you don't have to get it the cake topper right at the first time but actually you can add and remove some pieces of fondant when you're not happy about it and it does make uh, the whole process much much easier and more enjoyable now i'm happy with the way that the dog is uh, coming out so i'm going to make sure that all the fondant pieces are kind of blending together you don't want to see many gaps between different types of fondant so let's rub it with the leaf shaper if it doesn't blend well enough you might want to use just a tiny bit of butter and then finally let's start making all the hair effect and i'm using the other side of the leaf shaper which is a little bit more pointed and it is perfect for this kind of work so I've started from the back then the tail then again I moved to the back of the dog then the back leg it doesn't really matter where you want to start from Now I moved on to make the air effect on the face as well and uh, as you notice you have to make the lines from the middle towards the outside of the dog's face. Finally, I wanted to give a ginger effect on the brown hair, so I've added some orange powder onto the brown modeling base. And uh, I really think it was a very good idea because now I prefer this color much, much better. Let's now make the second dog, and uh, this one is going to be much, much easier. You need to roll a drop and then curve it and twist it a little bit. Now let's make a longer drop leaving 
the last bit a little bit bigger and chunker this is the dog's feet then press a little bit and make one cut in the middle then one on the left and one on the right to make the dog's fingers so let's put it at the back of the dog's body and let's add the other one as well which I've already done but I haven't showed you because it is exactly the same as the other one now we're going to do the front legs which are made in the same way so make a long drop leaving the front a little bit bigger and then press it and again cut in the middle and then one on the right and one on the left so let's put it at the front of the body now let's make the cute and little tail that the dog has at the back and maybe you want to twist it as well to look a little bit nicer and cuter as well now it's time to make the cute head and what we need to do from this ball is to roll and push it one part of this ball to make the mouth at this point we're going to add a cocktail stick inside the body cut it if it is too long like mine and then insert the head really gentle now we're going to start cutting the dog's mouth and you want to make a um, semicircle onto the left and then the other one onto the right then we're going to make a hole so now from a ball of black fondant we're going to make a triangle and put it onto the hole and then we're going to make two holes for the nostrils just press a little bit the mouth to make it smaller and more internal compared to the upper lip. Now let's make two holes for the eyes and what I'm using here it is a very small ball tool. Fill these two holes with two black balls of uh, modeling paste and as you can see it already looks so cute. Now let's add uh, some uh, eye contouring which we're going to add uh, only at the top of it adding two strips of uh, the same color as uh, the rest of uh, the fondant that we just used and then press it again from a bowl of uh, modeling paste let's make another drop but this time you want to press it and then we're going to put it at the top of the dog's head we well, could say that the dog has now been done and what we need is now adding all the hair effect and the tool that I'm using is a normal leaf shaper but I'm going to use it on the other side which has the pointed tool and I'm going to make lots and lots of lines on it which are slightly curved so you don't want to make really straight lines but just a tiny bit tiny bit curved and as you can see I've started from the front legs then to the back legs the body the mouth Finally on the ears as well. Now we're going to move on to make the dog's shadows and the color that I'm using is between orange and brown and I'm going to put it onto the head, the ears and all over the body really. Finally, I've added three dots of white gel paste from Wilton and it looked 
much much nicer and more alive and now we're going to put both dogs together and I want to show you how cute they're both together I really hope you find this video really useful and that you spend some quality time with your kids or even by yourself so if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do so so i'm going to be able to make lots of other nice videos for you but for the meantime be creative and have fun and also be safe bye